What is up, everyone? We are here with a gameplay slash commentary. Yes, on Counter Strike 1.6. But this one, this server is actually pretty cool. This is probably one of my favorite servers in Counter Strike history. This is called the Call of Duty mod, or as I call it, the COD mod. Because that's how I roll, and I am epic like that. <laughs> But online. this server is based off of Modern Warfare 2. It's actually a pretty cool server because you can you can earn kill streaks. You can earn like I think it's like UAV counter UAV, um, airstrike, EMP, and nuke. So yeah, I really enjoy playing this server. Um, not really that high of a level. I think I'm like 22. But anyway, yeah, the people that play this server aren't that. But, I don't know, that might change because I'm probably going to put the IP address to the server in the description, so, yeah. Drive the server out later, it's pretty fun. Oh, look at this. One, two, three. Oh, trip out. Oh, yeah. See, I got a UAV. I'm going to go in the chat, type slash UAV. Boom, UAV is up. Like a box. But anyway, so, something I wanted to talk about. What would happen if you put a game like this, you know, Counter Strike 1.6, that was made in like, standing by. What, 1990s, I think it was? Not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But what if you put a game that's like this? Oh, wait, check out this dead body over here. Wait, look. I was like, what the hell? I love dead bodies in this game. They're epic. But anyway. Yeah, what would happen if you put a game like this back in the 1990s against a game like, you know, Call of Duty that was made in 2010, 2011? I, th I honestly think against Modern Warfare 3, Counter-Strike would win by far. Because, don't get me wrong, I love playing Modern Warfare 3. I think it's a very good game. Oh, look, Airstrike. This server is awesome. But anyway, yeah, Modern Warfare 3 is a very good game. I love playing it. It's just that some of the things that people use in that game, you know, there's stuff like Dead Man's Hand, the support kill streaks, the MP7, there's stuff like that. So annoying. Ugh. Honestly, I like playing this game. Probably a lot more than Modern Warfare 3. Um, but other games, you know, there's still other stuff like Black Ops, and there's stuff like Battlefield, Medal of Honor. Um, the old Medal of Honor from 2010, yes, this was definitely laying over that. That game just sucked. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, yeah, that Medal of Honor game, that was terrible. I hope Warfighter is better than that one. But anyway. Other games, Battlefield, uh, I don't know, personally, Battlefield is kind of annoying to me, like Battlefield 3, that game pisses me off so easily. <laughs> um, yeah, this would probably win over Battlefield, but not by much, I mean, Battlefield, don't get me, oh, look at this guy, this guy is so good, no he's not, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Battlefield is pretty fun to play. I mean, stuff like, you know, jets and stuff inside a battlefield, those those are fun to use. But I'm talking about stuff like, you know, the USAS-12 with frag rounds. That used to be annoying. I'm not even sure if they patched that or not. But, um, yeah, Battlefield 3 was kind of annoying to me. Uh, I don't know. I sold that to my friend a while back on back on my Xbox. I've been thinking of trying it out again on PS3, but I don't know. Not much of a Battlefield fan anymore. But I digress. So, yeah, in my opinion, Counter Strike 1.6 would probably win over Battlefield. Oh, look at this moment right here. Wait, no, not that one. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind about that. Fail. But anyway. So anyway, what other games are there? Halo. Yes, Counter-Strike would definitely win over Halo, in my opinion. I am sorry, but I hate Halo with a passion. 
I mean, like, Halo used to be fun back in, you know, Halo 3, but Reach just, no, no. Reach just started getting annoying for me. I don't know. And then one part of Halo that I never actually liked at all was the shields and the health. That got so annoying to me. I'm used to games where you shoot them like that. You shoot them three times, and they're dead. In the Halo, however, it's like you shoot a full mag into them, and then another mag, and one round of a pistol. They're dead. It's like, come on, man. Sometimes that just gets annoying to me. I don't know why, but back in Halo Reach, it was so good and satisfying to see that it said, you killed this guy, or, or you got an assist on this guy with this guy. That was so awesome. Because for me, it was tough to play Halo Reach. With like the health regeneration packs, crap like that. <sighs> but I keep rambling off topic. Yeah, Counter-Strike would definitely win over Halo Reach. Um, what other games are there? Not really much else. Um, stuff like Uncharted for the PS3. Uh, Uncharted would probably win, because at least Uncharted has, you know, an epic campaign. I am I am terrible at Uncharted 3 multiplayer. But... <laughs> Yeah, I I just can't do anything in multiplayer. I don't know I don't know what's wrong with me in Uncharted, but I am the biggest noob in the world in Uncharted. I just can't do anything. But anyway, yeah. So Uncharted would win over this game, not by much though. I mean, oh check out this clip. This is what I was talking about earlier. So look, I see this guy spawn, so I kill him. Wait. I kill him. Then I see these guys. I'm like, oh crap, I gotta get out of here. Pull out my pistol, run faster, go, 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 go! Oh, I died. <laughs> I was so close right there. If I would have made that, that would have been like ninja skittles right there. <laughs> but, anyway. Yeah, Uncharted wins. What about stuff like Crisis 2? I don't know. Crisis... Crisis 2 and 1 and, what was it, Warhead or something? Something head, I don't know. But Crisis is actually a pretty fun game to play, you know. You can put on extra armor. That could be annoying from time to time, but you can deal with that easily. You know, you can go cloak. That, that's pretty fun. I mean, that game, yeah, I think that would beat Counter-Strike. Um, what else? Oh, Team Fortress 2. That was one that I'm forgetting. Uh, ooh, that's tough. Um, I'm not actually sure. Because Team Fortress 2 has awesome, you know, teamwork, awesome hit detection, awesome guns, awesome classes. But then Counter-Strike, the hit detection is probably the most realistic I've ever seen in a, in a shooter game. And there's awesome weapons. There's just... Terrorists and counter terrorists. Um, I'm not actually sure. You could put your your opinion on that one in the comments. Counter Strike 1.6 versus Team Fortress 2. I'm not sure about that one. That's tough. But anyway, this game's about to end soon. Um, this server is weird with games ending. Um, <laughs> look at me raging right there. But anyway. Yeah, this server is pretty weird. Like, the game ends, and then right when the game ends, you know, the, the announcer says, your work is appreciated, well done. But then as you're, as you're going, you already got a kill. He's just now saying Team Deathmatch. It's kind of weird. But anyway. Yeah, see? <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, that's the end of the gameplay for now. And, yeah, that's it. I'm Nick Loves Games. I love games and I'll see you guys later.